All right, this is Brother Derek here. And this is Brother Derek here. I see Kitty Winnie came live ranting about the same old stuff, ranting about Crow, ranting about Danny, ranting about Matthew, ranting about Mr. Salvo. Um, this is what I don't understand. Um, if I'm selling something and somebody buys it and they're not happy, I either offer them something different or offer them a refund. The problem with Kid of Bird is Kid of Bird afford to give a refund. That's the problem with Bird. Kid of Bird cannot afford to give a refund. This is the problem. He can't afford. Kid of Bird cannot afford to give a refund. That money is already with the dope man. Do y'all understand? If I had a business and I know that people are waiting to jump over me and make sure every step I make, they trying to bring me down. I wouldn't want to give no ammunition. And I tell you what I mean. He says that Crow and the Castaways were happy that PayPal had originally filed in Mr. Salvo's favor. But then he he reminded he went he said he went and got his lawyer. He didn't got no fucking lawyers. But he went and got his lawyers, he claimed. And told him to tell him about the best number. And now the process is still under review. Now, as a consumer, to the average consumer, somebody that's not involved in anything. When they see somebody go through so much so much trouble to keep that sale, that tell the average consumer that the company ain't worth shit. That's what it says. You can get mad all you want. Ask your lawyers that. Ask your lawyers that. Because if let's say that Crow and his people did make videos saying Kenneth Bird had to give a refund. Potential customers would now know that if something go wrong, they can get a refund. But now, when they see Ken fight so hard, so desperately, not for the reputation of his company, but that sale is a couple days worth of meth. Couple days worth of drugs. Kenny will fight for it. That's going to make people not want to bother him at all. Doesn't that make sense? If you see somebody so vigorously, just like I went on Amazon and I ordered a great fabric. They sent me some goddamn plastic. I ain't even tell y'all about it. I was humiliated. They sent me some plastic. I didn't even tell you my sister didn't know about this. I was embarrassed. I didn't say anything. I called Amazon and cussed them the hell out though and got a refund. But get this. Y'all not gonna believe this. There wasn't nothing wrong with that bug. We bought a new bug for nothing. There wasn't nothing wrong with that bug. You know what it was? I put that fabric up that they sent me and the fabric was so reflective that it kept convincing the automatic setting on the projector 
you know, when somebody walk by, it automatically shuts off. The bug wasn't gone. Because I decided to go ahead and stick it up. And I got my feelings hurt. That piece of plastic was so reflective. It was making the projector think that somebody, a human being, was standing in front of it. And that's why it wasn't working. And I was like, oh man, I was getting ready to call Amazon out and cuss them again. I was like, man, I just bought this brand new bug. And it worked one day. I was going to cuss them out. And I said, well, it's got to be something else. So I took down. I took down the, 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 the gray. I don't know what it, it, it was like a tarp. I laid them out. They already changed themselves. Y'all got to watch these damn going for themselves, man. But that tarp was so reflective, meaning I never got to see what it looked like. Because it was so reflective that it would bounce light back. It would bounce the light back to the projector and make the projector think that somebody was standing in front of it. And it shut down. Those of y'all that have an Epson know what I'm talking about. It has an automatic sensor that when it, de it detects something in front of it, it shuts it off. And that was so reflective. That plastic was sending the illumination back to the screen. It was sending it back to the projector from the screen that the projector thought that somebody was in front of it and it was shut down. I thought, I thought the bug was gone. So we never did get to see how it looked because it bounced so much light off. Now, if I had to call Amazon and they wouldn't give my money back, I'd be telling everybody I know, everybody I see, and be making videos about how they burnt me. That's gonna make people, and they shouldn't, but that's gonna make people not want to buy from that company. That's gonna make the people not want to buy from that company. So Ken, your reputation is shot. It'd have been better if you'd have just kept quiet and gave that man his money back. Cause now more people this is going to drag on. And people are not going to want to fool with you. But see, you're a junkie, and I understand. Your stuff is priced so high, not because it's good. It priced high because if you get three sales a month, that's enough for you to take care of your drug habit. It's not about the big houses and, all, and the cars. It ain't about that for you anymore. It's about having enough money to get that dope. And if you can keep tricking people, that's why you overseas down. You overseas down because you know that most Americans know about you now. You know that most Americans know about you now. So you get to go overseas. And you come live every day acting like you professional and you ain't with that ghetto shit you doing. And I do mean ghetto. I'm actually living in the ghetto and I'm calling you ghetto. Let that marinate for a second. Look at my setup. I'm calling you ghetto. Look at my setup. I'm calling you doing ghetto. Let, let, let that marinate. I'm calling you unprofessional and ghetto. But we're looking at the black version of God's technology. Like you're trying to get somebody to give you $170 for 24 ounces or 300 and what is it, 369? What is it, 369 for, for 32 ounces? See, to you, 
if you can get three or four sales a month, that's enough of your drug habit. You happy. And you keep talking about the, the FLE and the little screens and, and the sugar plum, whatever, and You keep talking about all these different things that you're supposed to be having, but where are they? You keep talking about you got a lot of sales. You do get dummies. I almost bought something from you. You weren't willing to do it. See, that's what made me think that all y'all were crooks. Because I came in that chat and that offer was to any of them. And nobody would take me up. That let me know that it was something shady about all of you. So you had somebody coming in that didn't know. And then you treat me like dirt. And then you wonder... Why I, why I come back at you the way I did. What do the other people that just happen to turn you on? To see you got all these videos out, but see you do the cheapest, lousiest demonstrations. The fact that you say you in a well-lit environment, but you got pink and purple lights on. Pink and purple ain't white. You say the hand test don't mean anything, but saw you stand in front of your projector that's long throw. You claim you in a wallet environment, but you wearing black. But the projector's showing red. And your black is red. There's no white light. Where's the white light? There wasn't even no white light on your neck. On your face. Where's the, where the light? I was able to call that out. And I did. And you ignored it. I called you out for having that little screen. That, that little TV piece of glass in, the, in that window. And you were standing out in the sunlight. Filming it. From about 10 feet away. But you had four feet of shade in front of the screen. I called you out for it. All of a sudden, you made six videos and that thing was in a different position every time. And instead of having four feet of shade, it was one feet of shade in front of it. Who made you move? Who made you do that? I did. I called that shit out. I called it out, King. I'm the one that told you months ago that your black was too thick and you thinned it out. I'm the puppet master. I make you move. That's why you so desperate for me to be Mr. Williams. Because see, the spirit tells me every lie you do. And that's why I come call you out. Where is the office space with the toilet in it? You pulled the hand first week of January. We about to go into March. Where is it? Why do you keep talking about doing expos? See, you won't get a business. Number one, because you can't afford it. But number two, if you could afford it, you still won't do it. You know why? Because you know the people will have a place to come to to complain. Right now, they can only complain on PayPal. And you don't have a firm address. So they can't come look for you. You know what you're doing? You're, you're a scammer. And I'm calling you a scammer, bitch. And I'm telling you why I'm calling you. I'm telling you why. I ain't just calling you something. See, this is what your prepaid lawyers 
would ever have a problem dealing with me. I can tell you to your face. I can tell a judge to his face. I can tell a jury to their face why I think you're a scammer and give them 50 reasons. 50 reasons why I think you scamming the people. You want to go to these expos because you set everything up. You want to be at a place that you can't be traced to because you're going to stage it and make it look good the same way you do in your videos. But when somebody get that shit home, they're going to say, what the fuck is this sheet? And people are too embarrassed to admit that they got scammed. So they don't say nothing. They pretty much go buy somebody else's stuff and paint over your stuff. Or they just go buy a white screen. That's what you bank on. Because they know you're going to battle them on the PayPal. You're going to harass them on YouTube. Put that information out there. You're going to do this. That's what you do. You're a scammer. And I'm calling you a scammer. Is your lawyer listening? He's a scammer. Is the hoo-ha listening? Kenny is a junkie and a scammer. I'm telling you. You got a problem? Drag me in. I tell you from the up, from the down, from the north, south, east, and the west. I ain't got no problem. Stating my opinion and telling the truth. Kenneth Bird is a scammer. You are a scammer, sir. Why did somebody pay you? We looking at an $11 piece of fabric. You ain't seen nothing turn green. You haven't seen anything on here lime green. Why is it that everything you show got to be lime green? I'm asking a question. Look at the devil. As I say that, what we'll come on the screen? Something lying green. You mad, sir? Am I talking about your talking about your child? Talking about your demon? Kenny Winnie. Are you mad, sir? We'll call your dad. Go ahead and call your dad. <laughs> they try to show green stuff. After I call Kenny. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's freaking hilarious. So if somebody can um do this for seventeen dollars, why should they pay, pay you one hundred and seventy for twenty four ounces of paint? Why should they pay you three hundred and sixty nine? What is it? Three sixty nine? Three fifty nine? What is it? For thirty two ounces. Now, I got the iron down there. I tried to iron the screen. Don't get the wrinkles out. I don't have no flat place to iron it. I can only try it while it's on the screen. And like I said, it's up for right now. And I don't know. I might keep it up. What time is it? One o'clock? I got till five to call mobility. I might go to Walmart tomorrow and uh, buy some thumbtacks and some... Uh, double-sided tape and whatnot. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not. Cause I might take it down and try to wash it and put it in the dryer and see if I can get the wrinkles out of it. I don't have a place to iron it. I'm not gonna sit there and, 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 and go buy an ironing board and try to do 120. You know, it would take the iron 120 to on the damn ironing board. An iron board is what? Six, seven inches wide. And when we have to do 120 inches, God damn, that's a lot of work. What I could do is buy another fabric. But, Cause see the problem is, is that I got that one against the wall. And then I got the white screen over top of it. I would have to take all three of them now. And then, is there any 
glue or is there any double sided tape, you know, the, the residue? Because there's residue on that screen. I might do better to just buy a whole new um, fabric. I might look online, see if I can find a whole new fabric. I'll put it up there. But. Looks pretty good. So. <clears throat> let's see. Damn, right in my face. Look at that. Right in your face. Let's turn the lights on. So you can see we're well lit. We're well lit. I'm going to come in here like that. Ugh. I can see the difference between white and black. Now, if you can deal with this, it's up to you. Can you deal with that? Let's see when you deal with black. Black can't do white. It's gonna tip it, but it can't do it. And white can't do black. So, what would you rather have? Would you rather have the. Or, would you rather have. Look, everybody looks. But it doesn't cross the road. Yes, amen. What would you rather have? I'm asking you. What would you rather have, sir? Did you deal with that? You can see the difference. The black make it look darker. But it's still viewable. Just looks darker. Now, if you don't mind this, if this doesn't bother you, for $17, you got an iron, an ironing board, or a table to iron this on, you need a table. Hit me. I see the hand test. Hey! So 
Então é dobro. For $17, it's a double. I mean, the question. For $17, it's a double. Ah, I'm getting old. <laughs> For $17, it's a double, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'm asking. For $17, it's a double. Let me see my. For $17, it's a double. Let me see my. For $17, it's a double. Let me see my. For $17, it's a double. Could you deal with this? Could you deal with it? For seventeen dollars, going over the projector. Could you deal with it? We're in the kitchen. I just fried some chicken. I'm standing here cooking. Can I see the screen? Come by the projector. And we get the four angles. Now you see the black really does well in a dark environment with a dark background. But where's the lime green at? The kitty head. We don't have that line green. You know why? Because we don't play with the tent. Kitty play with the tent. That's why I say he stage stuff. That's why he got to do them on-site demonstrations. The stuff that he brag about condemns him. Do y'all don't understand? The reason why he need to do those demonstrations live is so that the people can see what he set up. Because like I said, when they get home, Unless they do exactly what he do, they're not gonna get the same result. They ain't gonna say this is bullshit. That's why he don't have contracts. He can't have people work for him. Kitty has to set this stuff up. He has to set everything up. That's why he not getting offers at these places. He say he go to these businesses. The same thing with the, uh, what do you call it? The Cigar Lounge. When he was in that other place. Kitty has to set everything up. He's a dope fiend. He's not reliable. Dope fiend is not reliable. Only Kenny is willing to lie, cheat, and steal. To make this bullshit product look good. If you hire somebody else, they're gonna have a conscience and they look, man, I can't do this. If you try and go to another company and say, look, let's link up, but you gotta do it this way, they're not gonna go for it. That's why he where he is. If I'm lying, Somebody tell me I'm lying. Hey, Kenny, if I'm lying, sue me, bitch. Threatening to sue everybody else. Sue me and tell me I'm lying. Send me a cease and desist letter. Watch me piss on it live. I piss on it. Send me a cease and desist letter. 
Ah, <laughs> piss on it live, you sissy. You don't put no fear in my heart, you junkie bitch. You come in here crying about some damn man. You crying like a little bitch. Hey, you, you, you attacking my company. Where your company at? Where's your building? Where's it at? Where's your company? It's in your mind. It's on that witch. We can pause that music for a second because we don't need it. We can pause that music for a second because we don't need it. We don't need that music. We don't need that music. Where's your company at, Ken Bird? Where's it at? Ooh, it's in your mind. Where's it at? As long as you can scam two or three people a month, you happy. You are. You happy. Because all you care about is dope. All you care about is dope. And when your dope money get low, you come on here and start whining, trying to get sympathy. Yeah, you know, because you know, because the, the, I'm going to take your check. I'm going to take your picture. I'm going to take your IRS for tax return. I'm going to take your salary. I'm going to take your property. <coughs> Silent and Danny, I'm going to mobilize your houses. And then you turn around in the same breath and say, you know the judge is going to say, why you take so long? And I'm going to say, well, I didn't want them to go through what I went through. You know, I didn't want them to go with the system. And, you know, I didn't want... You just sitting there talking about how you're going to demolish their houses. Talk about how they're going to get raped in jail like you was. Talk about how their wives going to divorce them. But you, didn't, but you don't want to do it. Well, you seem mighty happy when you're talking about what you're going to have done to these people. And then you want to turn around and try and look good and say, but you know, I'm a Christian. I really didn't want to do it. So what you going to say? The devil made you do it. This is the kind of phoniness, the kind of bullshit fraud that I'm talking about. You are not a genuine person. Whether you like me or not. I don't change. I don't switch up. I come at you. Whether you like me or not, you got to respect that. I don't switch up. I don't change gears. You got to respect that. Your faggot ass switching to many. I called you a faggot. What you going to do about it, punk? You going to see me because I called you a fag rag? You know you got raped in that damn jail. Talk to me. You, you wuss. What you, what you, what you going to do about it? You ain't calling nobody. You a fucking liar. If the Allen, if you got the Allentown police in your pocket, like you say you do, you got the the Allentown bureau, of the FBI in your pocket. You got the you, you got the uh, Pennsylvania or Allentown postmaster in your pocket. Why I got five envelopes to your two, bitch? Why do I have five envelopes to your two? I don't sell no paint. I ain't never been on your website. I've never been in your website chat. You cannot find not one email to link me. Not one. You can't find not one message to link me. Not one. Why you think I'm scared of your junky ass? I'm only three hours from you. How you going to explain to the judge? Because the first letter I got is dated December the 18th. I can look on YouTube and look up December 18th. What was I doing? Was I live or was I out and about? I guarantee you, either way, I'm nowhere near Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You won't find no bus ticket from Milwaukee. No plane ticket. You can take it by airplane. Just get here. Remember that song? 
You won't find nothing to link me to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Nothing. Not a person. Not anything. Didn't, uh, didn't George Floyd happen in, in Wisconsin? Was that Wisconsin or Minnesota? Because I got a letter from Minnesota too. You still talking about Mr. You know they know Mr. Williams? They, 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 they is somebody. But the name ain't Williams. That's a made up name. But there is somebody that lives in Milwaukee or lives in St. Paul. You got to find that Mr. Williams. I guarantee you he's Mexican. Put money on that. And the name ain't Williams. Probably Gonzalez or something. Perez. But you so desperate to get me off your neck. You so desperate to get me off your neck. You are so desperate to get me off your neck. That you'll roll with it. We've been letting you two play whatever they want to play. And I've been sitting here holding this phone in my hand while I roast the hell out of you. And you ain't seen no slime on my screen. And I'm laying down in the bed. And I got two screens. That, that, that's white. That's off white up there. And that's black down there. That's God's technology black version. Down there. How come. How come. Your shit that's powered. By God. According to you. And God's technology, God's technology, how come they don't look the same? Why is it that your stuff look like bullshit? I'm asking the question. You can give me a million reasons, but people can look with their eyes. I show you with the lights on. I show you with the lights on. I showed you a comparison. Can't show you in comparison. We don't have to sit here and do those scamming. We ain't got to play with the ISOs and the lighting and all that bullshit. You can see there's black there. There's no black there. But look how pretty that is. But look how pretty that is. What are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up that black to get that beautiful detail? Or would you rather have the black? I have a slight loss in detail. Because that still looks good. Doesn't look as good as that. But that looks good. That doable. For $17, that doable. Talk all the shit you want to talk. For $17, that doable. For $17, that's doable. This is what God told me to do. So why is it there's no slime? Where's the green slime at? Where's the purple tent? How come God's version of technology doesn't have all the faults that yours has? Lightner and, and FLE and all that bullshit. This ain't nothing... But fabric. Two pieces of fabric. A real projection screen and a goddamn bed sheet. That's what that is. An old bed sheet. You have to paint yours. And they're interchangeable. I could put the white projection screen in the front and put the black in the back or flip them. Right now, I got a black fabric on the wall. Then I got a real white projector screen. It's a real projector screen. And then I got a black bed sheet. It's an old black bed sheet. It's an old black bed sheet. It's 
So how come I could get this? How come when everybody else show, it look terrible? Well, when I show, it look good. Why is that? Why is that? I ain't doing nothing different. I'm not cheating. I'm laying in the bed down here. I don't have no special tricks up there. That ain't nothing but thumbtacks, double-sided tape, and black Gorilla duct tape. That's all we use. That's it. Nothing fancy. But look at the results. Look at the hand. They were talking about you doing the demonstration on the hand. Yesterday, about how the people look so unnatural. Matter of fact, can we uh, uh can we show that? Ooh, we have the technology, of course we can. Let me get the back out, huh? All right, we'll back all the way out. We ain't worried. We'll back all the way out. All right, go go to Skyworth. Where's the video they were talking about? Yeah, her. Yeah, her with the legs right there. Let's check out the Skyworth. Y'all ready? Now, as I pose, look at that. That's a beautiful. Now, let's pause. Look at her pretty face. Can we see her face down there? Do we see her face? Do we see her face? <laughs> Pardon the wrinkles. That's wrinkles right there, y'all. <laughs> That's wrinkles right there. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do. But can you see her face? Can you see her, her arm? Do you see the mouse? Look at look at the mouse on the arm. You can tell that it's off white. And look, look, look at the mouse right there. Look at the mouse on her shoulder right there. And look at the mouse right there. Yeah, you can tell it's off white. Look at look at the banister. Pardon the wrinkle, y'all. I don't know how to get them out. Look at the banister. But she's got a blue shirt on. Down here, she got a blue shirt on. It's a little bit lighter. But, pardon the wrinkles, because you see the ditches right there. You see the ditches right there. Pardon the wrinkles, but can you see her face? Look up there. You see her face. You know, I've been noticing something. When we have it down, it's out. And looking at it, I can't tell. But when we zoom, can y'all see the Witcher Combs? You know what I'm talking about? The pixels. Uh, now they're going to show it. But I've been noticing sometimes when we zoom in on the ceiling, and maybe it's because of the projection coming this way, coming up. Sometimes you can see the pixels. I don't know if y'all noticed that. But anyway, I guess we can unmute it. I guess we can play the music, whatever. I'm waiting to see her in the gazebo. Where's the gazebo? Where's the gazebo? Cause see, you can pause right there. Look at how beautiful that looks. This is why white is dominant. I'm sorry, white is dominant. Look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the black trying with the white behind it. It's trying, but you can see that is no match. 
There is no match. Look at that. Look at that. Black can't do white. It tries, though. White can't do black. It tries, though. Well, where's the gazebo? I want to see the gazebo head to head. Gorgeous. Where's the gazebo? Hold on, pause right there. The lady with the legs. Now, let's look up here. You know, pretty lady, you know. I, I like a woman with some more meat on her bones, but you know. It ain't about that. But look here. Look at the white right there. Can we duplicate it down here? Can we duplicate it? Y'all ready? Take a look. Let's go down and take a look. Can we duplicate? There's a lady. There's the two potato rolls. Come on, camera focus. Can we show our face? Where's she at? Can we show the two potatoes? There they go right there. There go the two potatoes. Now, nah. can we show the white? Well, it even look white. It's there, but it doesn't look white. See that? This is how thorough I am. Most of y'all wouldn't even notice that. But see that white right there? See it? Right there. That white frosted. Do we see it? Zoom in. There it is. It's, it's there, but it don't look white. But there it is. It's right there. Where in the mouse? It's right there. So, like I told you, black cannot do white perfectly. It can't. Some things will look better than the other. But I want to see the gazebo. There it is. Bam. Now, this is the gazebo. Now, Kenny and Crow, I mean, uh, Crow and Silence said, can you see the table? Can you see the light shimmying off? Where the mouse? Can you see the light? Can you see that? They asked about the table, the dress, the balcony. Because in kitties, you can only see a little itty bitty bit of the balcony behind her. Now, are y'all ready? Let's go check it out. Can we make out any of that stuff with God's technology? Can we make it out? There's the table. That's there. There's the red dress. We see the whole balcony. See the balcony right there? Now, we come over here. That's there. It's there, but it's washed. It, it, it's, it's, it's there. It's just not bright. See this right here? Wait a minute. Look at that right there. Look at the very top. See that right there? Now you can see the pixelation that we zoomed, we zoomed in. But look, see that right there? We looking forward down here. And as you can see, look, look 
at the mouse. It get lost for a second. Look at that. Look at that. Black cannot do it perfectly. But it look a lot, whole lot better than what that shit Kitty showed. I'm sorry. Kitty shit was green. It, it, was, it was a cloud. It was a cloud of nothing. At least you, you get an image. For $17. I, I, I can roll with this. This is acceptable for $17. It ain't acceptable that shit Kitty showed for, for, for $370 or $170. But for $17... I know Kenny videos that look like this. Oh, he showed the black. Are they going into it? That's why I said it ain't perfect, but it's doable. That's not perfect, but it's doable. It's doable. Where the coin? Where the children of the coin at? Where the children of the coin? There it is. Children of the coin. Where the coin on the car back? I'm sorry, Kenny, with all your staging, you can't touch God's technology. I'm sorry. <laughs> with all your staging, you can't touch God's technology. Look at that. And look at that. You wish you could come close to that. Look at how beautiful the way is. But... We right there. Say what you want to say. Look at that. Look at that little strip in the middle. Mm. I mean, what, maybe some shrimp right now. But check it out. There's the shrimp in the middle. There it is. So even though I can't get the wrinkles out the damn screen. Check it out, Kenny. If we can pull your video up and I can show you, all you're going to see is snot green across everything on your bullshit ass paint. You stage stuff, sir. You stage stuff. I think I stage nothing. 
That's God's technology. Whatever I play, it's going to be the best it could be. Black can't be white, but it's doing a good job right there, ain't it? Look up there. It's trying. You can tell that that's off-white. That is not pure white. That's pure white. Look at that. But you were just watching this and you wasn't really studying it. You wouldn't notice it. Look at the white right there. This is the benefit of having two screens. Because see, I... That's how I pose the look, okay? Y'all see how dark it is from across the room when you zoom in? Look at that. Now, Kenny, well, you can do this without cheating, without scamming, without staging. Because, see, this is what I see when I look up there. If I zoom up, it's going to look really dark. It's still there. But look at how dark it looks. Zoom in. Take a look. Cuts it across the room. That's damn good. It ain't perfect. This is perfect. Look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Even look at the words. Look at the words. Look at the words. You can see the difference. Look how look at the words right here. Look how look how white it is. Look right there. It's still white, but it's off white. I'm gonna turn the coat sideways a second. See right there. Look right there, and look right there. It's doable. You can you can believe that's white, but that's not green. Or that pink stuff that Kitty do, you can't make yourself believe. Because I could pull up Kitty video on this right now, and he can't touch this. So he can make as many videos as he want to. All right, y'all, this is Brother Dark. Let me get out of here. Y'all have a good one, and we are out.